All right, so right now we're talking about what's called undefined terms. And so I could go into another video on why we use the word undefined, but just for the sake of time, I'm just gonna go through three. So, these three. So write these in your journal. These are super important, especially for this first part of geometry. So um, we have point line plane. So the first thing we start out with is what's called a point. A point has no dimension and um, we usually represent it with a dot. So, a um, little point right here with the letter, we'll go into how and why we name uh, points later. Um, I like to think about it like the little push pin on Google, okay? Is that push pin really there in real life? No, but it's used to kind of mark where we need to be or an important part. So, then we move down and talk about lines. So, if we take two points, and connect those two points, we get what's called a line. A line has one dimension, extends forever and ever and ever. That's what these arrows mean. It means it's extending forever and ever this way, because you can't physically draw that, so we draw those arrows. And that's gonna be important later when we talk about what's called line segments and rays. They look similar to lines, uh, but they don't always have the, they don't have the arrows on both sides. Then the last thing we talked about are planes. Okay, so planes have two dimensions. They look like a floor or wall. Not airplanes, but like flat spaces planes. Okay, so in your books, and a lot of times you'll see just like a flat piece of paper, a rectangle, um, usually has a multiple points on it. Um, that's what we consider in geometry to be planes. Okay, so three things. Make sure you copy these down, have them somewhere where you can refer to.